these are some common software commands to redo save and new models so these are always available in all types of software this is if you want to deselect some option and you want to take the cursor again you can click it so it, it also can be achieved by pressing escape sometimes next these three four icons are related to the view of the icons so if you want to see the front view you will click it it has taken the model to the front view whenever remember whenever you see a small dot a small play button on the bottom of an icon it means that there are more options available and you can reach these options by right clicking so if i right click there are two options this is the front view and this is the rear view so i can switch between front view and rear view similarly this is the uh, icon for right and left view so this is the right view and this is the left view i right click and left click so uh, depending on my need then this is the top view and bottom view so these are different options i can use normally front view and right view is the suitable one it depends what type of standard you follow okay so uh, then you can also if you are uh, you are looking for the isometric view you can click the isometric view okay so these are different options also you can align your uh, view plane so if you say i want to align my view plane to be in the x plane x y plane of an object so this will uh, align it with an object so if i say it here it it has aligned it to the local coordinate system of the object this is another option which is saying that if you select three points you can also make a plane okay so these are different options to playing with your view and planes then you can have you have this icon which says that if you have some selected model you can modify its properties so you can give its density young modulus poisson ratio and you can also tell it if it is orthotropic it is an isotropic or isotropic okay the next icon is this one it also has a play button i right click it this is telling you different colors so whatever object you have selected if you want to change its color you can use this one so let's say i have this box on an uh, orange sort of color i make it blue and if i select it and I, if i change it to green it will be changed into green so this is how you can change the color of your items different models the next is a very useful icon it has many options with it these four column wise options are very good they are used for translating or rotating your object so you can move your object as compared to the others you can even i can say it is editing the location of an uh, item using these four commands these other four options and uh, these things are related to your access your grid settings this and also is related to your linear functions or rectangular function this is used for my year these are also uh, things are uh, available when we will be using them the next icon is if you are look want to work in groups so you are for example working in a very big project and you have small sub mechanisms or mechanisms in that machine you can make the groups for each machine <clears throat> this is for fitting view so if you press f or click this it will fit the view this is for the window zoom so you just click it and make a drop off box and it will uh, zoom that window this is for making the new center of the object so if you click this one so this is the new center of the uh, view i click, click t and i translate it and i say press z and zoom out if i press it again i say no this is my center so this will become the center so this is for center close uh, center location this is for the simple rotation you click r or this key both will give you the same option if i right click there is another option dynamic this will rotate the object uh, about your screen so you can rotate the object about your screen and this is the translate tool or hand tool and you can also use this is the depth tool for perspective dynamic depth so if i say isometric and i zoom it out if i click this one and i push it it will give an error because it only works in a perspective view and at the moment we are having our uh, orthographic view so this is the perspective view now 
now if i click it and i drag my mouse it is telling you how the view uh, uh, different edges of the model will be shown so in orthographic view engineers use it for making the parallel lines look parallel perspective view is something how it looks like in real life so it doesn't take all the lines parallel it is just like some view angle or some view from the camera okay i switch off the orthographic now the next option is uh, this uh, zoom i was just using it by pressing z key so the z key or this key both will work in this way this increment is telling you with each drag or click of the mouse how much these things will move out so the increment in the uh, translate or dynamic rotation okay or zooming so these are some options available on the top of the icons now i come towards the bottom on the bottom you have first key is your uh, stop key so if some command is running and you want to stop it if it is possible depending on the command you run you can click it then you have this i key this is the information so it will if you click it it will give you the information about the database so what is it is the tree what is the name of the model if you double click plus it will give you what are the types of things available in this there is ground there is one part what is the block we have also a gravity graph field then we have some analysis flags here and we also have defined materials so some of the things we didn't do it was given to us by adams by default okay there was a mouse key button there if i right click it here there are other three options this one yellow one is to give you that uh, how to verify the model if you click it it verifies the model and it also gives you what is the degree of freedom what is the group account it also tells you if there is some what are the types of constraints and everything is fine so this verifies the model the next thing uh, is this one this tell you do the topology of the model depending on the connections or joints so if you click this one it will give you i clear it because it is also overriding the last thing i click it again so this is telling you how many connections are there uh, with, uh, among different parts so it is just saying there is no connection unconnected parts there is one ground and one part and ground part is name as ground okay so this is the inform topology based on the connections this is that fourth icon is uh, giving you the information topology based on paths so if i click this one this is telling you what is part one what is part two and how is it connected okay so these four icons will tell you how what type of topology you're looking for and your verifications this icons is for uh, toggling the icon view visibility we also read this that if we press the v icon v short key it toggles between icons so if you have large number of items and icons and local coordinate systems and connections it uh, hurdles the visibility of your model so by toggling between this option you can uh, control the visibility and you can see how your parts are connected easily okay this next option is to switch or toggle between wireframe and solid we were doing this with capital s or shift s key so if i press shift s it is doing the same thing then i will go to the next thing that is the perspective and orthographic view so you can switch between perspective and orthographic view with this one then this one is for the grid so if you click it it will switch on and switch off the grid settings if you double click it it gives you the working grid settings the next is you can have multiple views in one uh, screen so if you right click it there are many options if i let's say i go to this one there are six different windows in one window and i can control each of it uh, separately so if i click this one and i want to see this one as solid as well i can click this one it is solid and if i want to rotate it and i see some other view i can do this and this for example i want solid again and i want some other view i can do this and uh, i can switch off the icon visibility while this is working for all of the windows together okay so you can also play with it in a way that if i 
switch off the title in this that is the next window it has two option uh, four options there one is the title toggling so if you click it it will toggle the, the title so whatever model you have let's say i don't want to see the name here i click it and this is no model here no model name anymore this is the option for toggle triad visibility you see that there is xyz axis on the bottom so if you click it it switches between the toggle uh, triads so somewhere it is shown somewhere it is not okay so wherever whichever window you are uh, using you have to click it and then you have to change its settings so this is uh, toggling the triad visibility this is the uh, toggling the title name this is toggling between the coordinate window visibility so if you click it it gives you the coordinate which coordinate you are looking for it is very helpful if you are building something and you want to see at which xyz point you are so this is also useful then the next option is moving towards the uh, angles and rotation so if you click this one you will get this small template and in this way you can rotate your model and you can decrease the increment let's say i need five degrees rotation so it will rotate by five degrees okay so also you can translate with the keys okay if i want to do this with this window i can rotate it five degrees i can translate it if i want to do in this window i can translate it uh, it, uh, so it is it is rotating uh, along x-axis this is rotating about y-axis and this is rotate, rotating about axis uh, of the plane of the view screen or z -axis. okay so this is how you can play with the view rotation so these were four options here the last option we are going to study today is this one these are six screens so six colors of the workspace so whatever you you select here uh, it gives you that background so white gives you white background this gray gives you gray by default atoms use this space type of color for visibility okay so this is how you can uh, see different types of commands and that options will be very useful when you will be building your complex models because uh, uh, in order to build big complex models quickly you need to know where there are different options available what are the short keys and how you can switch between different options so that's it for today don't forget to comment and give me your feedback so that i can improve for the future videos and also don't forget to subscribe